welcome back to my channel i am lime green today we're going to attempt to do a look for black history month so i'm going to try to do an eye look so hopefully i can achieve it to where you know it looks like it's for black history month and i'm also excited because i get to try my p louise base it came it came like in a week which i'm kind of shocked because i was expecting it to come probably like in two weeks because it's from the UK. But yeah, I'm very surprised that my P. Louise base came. So at the end of this video, oops, I dropped it. So at the end of this video, I will let you guys know how I feel about this P. Louise eye base. I have this in the color 0 0.5. This is the second to lightest color. I think the other color lightest is a zero. I think it's like a white, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I want to review this at the end. And also, I'm going to hopefully achieve this eye look for Black History Month. And yeah, that is about it. So let's jump into it. Okay, y'all. So I applied my P. Louise eye base so far. I really like it. It was easy to apply it. I used my finger. And as you can see, I cut my nails down from beauty school. So this is kind of cute. I, I really, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So I mean, yeah, I'm not showing off my rock. I'm not. Y'all been so, so all that. So yeah, I really like it. So I'm going to continue to do this look. And also, um, do not forget to follow me on my IG. I'll have it somewhere at the bottom. Yes, yeah, so and don't forget to follow me on my IG if you want to stay in contact with me on Instagram. So yeah, let's continue to do this. Hey y'all, this is a quick voiceover. Hopefully I do not mess up while I'm trying to do this voiceover. But okay, so when I was applying the eyeshadow on this P. Louise base, I noticed that it's very smooth. It's like a smooth canvas. The eyeshadows like glide on very smooth and I don't know, it just glides on so smooth and it made my eyeshadow applying time very um low so yeah i really like it so far so pretty much on this part i'm going to basically just apply that brown to like majority of the eyelid and you know how i do i always get some on the lid so yeah i do that with both my eyes and then i then i'm going to cut my crease also, guys, please let me know how you like this voiceover. I'm on another phone, so the voiceover is not as loud as I want it to be. So let me know if it's not, if it's too staticky or whatnot. Just let me know if you like it or not. Okay, so I found my mic. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this black shade. Um, I'm going to put that in my crease. Then once I put it in my crease, I'm going to blend it out because, you know, I wanted to have black because that's part of Black History Month. <laughs> Okay, so in this clip, as you can see, the phone is zoomed up and I made the color in the phone a little bit darker because this phone tends to make the, the colors too, too light. So this is the good as I was able to adjust it. And also do not come for my mustache. I forgot to shave. So I'm about to hurry up and cut this crease and yeah, unzoom. Okay, so in this clip, I'm about to cut my crease. I want to let you guys know when it came to me applying this to my eyelid to cut, I don't think it's the best base to use to cut a crease. It's very good to base your eye for eyeshadow, but I don't think it's good for cutting your crease. 
so I'm going to stick with my Alta for cutting my crease, but I'm definitely going to use this base, P. Louise, to base my lid. So next I'm going to apply my lid colors and you're going to see that in this next clip. Okay, y'all, so the camera cut off. So, yeah, this side is complete, so I'm going to do this side. So, basically, what I did, I just patted this color on my lid. So, I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. And as I pat it on, I'm going to, like, sweep it a little bit over that yellow so that it can appear that it's blending. So I'm gonna hurry up, pack more color on so that we can see this color and just sweep it just a little bit, just a little. You see that? Just a little, so it doesn't look harsh. So it doesn't look like I just, you know, put lines on my eyelid and just sweep it. All right, and then I'm going to go in with that red quickly. Pat it on. Sweep it a little bit so that it can appear to blend. I don't know if it's that P. Louise base, honey, but wow, it is. This These colors are blending good. Or it can also be the palette that I'm using. Because this palette is a very good palette as well. But I use this palette num numerous times. And this is the first time that I'm realizing that it's like blending, blending, bitch. Then I'm going to go with that black because this is like a easy. Then I'm going to tap this black on the end so that it can blend in with the black that's already on t on my lid. All right. I'm gonna do my eyeliner and come right back. Okay, so my face makeup is done. Now I just have to do my bottom lash and my highlight. So I'm trying to think what I should I line my eye up with? I think I'm gonna do red. So yeah, let me do red. Okay y'all, so I'm back. This is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. So, I am stuck between two um, lip products. I don't have a black lip gloss or nothing, but I have this color to where it looks almost black, and I also have a red, and I found like a little scarf to fit the theme of what I'm going, to, going for in this video. So, I'm going to try to test out this deep purple and see if that work as a black let's see So, how this look, guys? Okay, so this works. I'm going to go with this color. And we're done. So, my thoughts on the P. Louise base. 
I really like this. It helped the eye look come out really, really good. Um, I don't have any cons with this. I will plan on buying more. Also, I will try it in the same color. I buy mine in a lighter shade because it makes my colors pop. And it was so easy to blend everything using this. I'm like, wow, it's, it was no type of effort needed on my end. It's, it was like one, two, three, go. And then with me being in beauty school and beauty school being almost an hour away, I can easily do my eyeshadows quick, fast, in a hurry, and I'm out the door on the highway. So yeah, I really, really like the P. Louise Eye Base. And I hope you guys like my eye look for Black History Month. Yeah, this is this is cute. I would rock this hairband. Like this, this is cute though. So yeah, thanks again for watching my Black History Month eye look. I hope you guys liked it again. If you did, thumbs me up. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.